at the last race last year at Mid Ohio, one of our cars got totaled. So we were short a car. I had driver commitments for four cars. I only had three cars. And we were trying to get the fourth car fixed. We had to get a body in white and completely rebuild it. It wasn't going to make Daytona. So I heard about Carl having one of his Hondas for sale. So I bought it to fulfill my contractual commitments to the drivers. And we said, wow, this is pretty good. You know, we really like this car. This car is very quick. And if, we, if you can make a Mini go fast, there's a little tiny motor. You know, we took all of those handling skills we learned with the Mini and we folded them into the, the Honda. And we've been very successful with the Honda. We've had one win. Two poles, almost had a pole again yesterday. To give you a little bit of background, actually, kind of how we moved into the Honda uh, Civic for this year, the 2011 car, is um, I didn't really have a ride coming up into Daytona, and uh, we were actually in the process, and we're still in the process of building another Mini Cooper, and Randy uh, struck a deal to buy this car um, for actually like the week before Daytona. And we took delivery at the Daytona race on that Wednesday and uh, been prepping the car. We got to take the car home from Daytona. We did fairly well with it at Daytona, um, but we got to really work on it. We went testing at VIR for a couple of days with it and baselined some stuff off our minis that we used there for the Honda and found a really good package with it. It's been really fast everywhere we've been uh, since that point at Barber. We had a podium with it. Then we won in New Jersey, obviously, for the third year in a row, which is great. And uh, we've been quick everywhere. We've just got to get some good luck to get back on our side uh, to get back up front. We've got one of the best crews, I, I believe, in the paddock. But of course, I'm not objective about that. But working on two cars is very, very difficult. Um, you have to have double spares. You know, one guy's jumping from a 1.6 liter motor, uh, you know, to a two liter. It, it's very difficult. One car is, is boosted with a supercharger. One's normally aspirated. But they've adapted very, very well. We look forward to next year going back to a single brand. Uh, getting rid of the spares. The trucks are completely overloaded with spare tires, different wheel sizes, you know, different rain tires, everything. It's It's been a little bit of a burden. Uh, we're just trying to look into the future a little bit. We know the minis are going away for next year, so we wanted to give Ron Farmer and Jason Hart and everybody at USLED a chance to kind of try the Honda Civic. We kind of, after the first three races of the year, we thought that the Honda was a good product for us, so we wanted to give them a shot to try it to make sure looking in the future for next year for those guys if it's something they wanted to be in or they wanted to look in different direction. So that's one reason we brought the 196 on and did a partnership with Matt Chambers at Raceworks to bring that car on. It's been a great partnership with Matt and we've been working on a lot of stuff on some things that we don't have access to that he does and trying to develop the cars even more. We got the Civic rolling right away and uh, we were really happy. It kind of shocked us a little bit that we got it that quick. and. Uh, so I was the guinea pig, but now it turns out the car is really, really fast, and so uh, we'll see what happens in the future.